This is Jim Ingersoll, and I want to welcome you to this uh, vi video I made for you on looking up property in the online tax records. Um, what you do to begin with is just go to google.com, um, and you've got to do a search for your um, individual tax records. So just go to Google, just like this, and then in the main box, in the search box, type the area you're looking for. Like, I'm going to pull up some local areas today. So let's say Henrico, and then uh, just after that type online tax records, like that. <clears throat> and then you get all these links, and this very first one says online real estate data and disclaimer county of Henrico. That's the one I'm looking for. So just do a Google search for the area you live, and then type online tax records. Then click on the link, and there's usually a little disclaimer here. Just uh, click it and say submit. Now what you've got here is you're inside of your local area um, tax assessors uh, database at this point. And what you want to do is look at what information they need, kind of look the thing over. So see up here in the upper right it says property search, sales search, commercial sales search. Pick which one you're looking for. In this case I'm looking for property search. I don't know the parcel ID, I don't know the vision PID, but I do know um, some addresses. So I'm going to put an address in here. Uh, 3821 and then I'll put in the street name right here and that's all you need and you can do search by current owner um, so just type in the house number in the street click on search and there it is there's the house that I'm looking for you can uh, click on this this whole thing is uh, clickable but uh, just click over here where it says select and here's all the information on it okay so here is the current owner right here it says Omika Hodge see that they live at this property this is their mailing address and um, you can see all kinds of information about it you see where it's at you can see the tax assessment you see the square footage right here you see how many bedrooms there are how many total rooms the type of uh, foundation it's got all this information is here when it was last purchased and so on and that's it that's all you do now you can go back to search pull up a completely different house if you want let's say um, uh, just uh, pick pick any at random is fine let's say um, let's, you can also do this generically by road so you can say London this is every house on London Road um, in Henrico County uh, includes London Road London Tower Court which is um, condos London Drive and you can pick any of these you're looking for Let's say you're looking at this one right here. That's condos. That's fine. <clears throat> and you can see that it's 1,040 square feet. It's a two-bedroom condo. It's owned by Linda Atkinson. This is her uh, condo number. It's in Glen Allen, Virginia. Um, tax assessment right there. And uh, you can also find out all kinds of info. So the most important thing is to search by the, uh, by the address and then be able to figure out who owns the house like this one on London Drive right here you can see it's owned by Robert and Elaine Avery and they live in this house so it's 10911 London Drive Glen Allen Virginia it's a 2000 square foot house <clears throat> tax assessment is 207 four bedrooms and so on and uh, by the way um, they purchased this in 2004 so you can get a lot of information, but if you're looking to track down the owner of a vacant house, this is a great way to do it because the house will come up in the tax records, you'll confirm the owner, you'll confirm where they live, and you'll be able to track them down. All right, let's go back to Google for a minute, and I'll pull up another area. <clears throat> it works very similar in all, all the counties oops, across the United States, um, though it may not be exactly the same. Let me get out of this and get to Google. Hang with me here. <clears throat> All right, let's say uh, you're in Richmond, Virginia, online tax records now. So you can do this by city or county, wherever you live. It's the same in New Orleans as it is in uh, San Jose or wherever. And uh, so this is what you get when you come into the Richmond, uh, Virginia, where I live. And what you want to do is look for something that says like property search works really well. So you can do this uh, by address, by owner name, by parcel, but I want to do by address, okay? And what I want to do here is, um, let's just uh, pick an area, 
Um, let's say, trying to think of an address here. Let's say 416 West, West 24th. Okay, it's near a house that I'm working on now. Let's see what comes up. No, I picked a bad address. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, let's go back here. Let's say between 400 and 416. Having some troubles with my search here. Let's try this again. Let me do this one. 915 35th. Like that. <clears throat> okay, so you can see this property here just came up. <clears throat> you get all the info, info on it that you need. You can see this is the address. This is the owner. This is where the owner lives, his mailing address. Um, you can also look at a lot about the uh, the actual lot. You can look at the assessment. So the assessed value is seventy five thousand. You can see when he last bought it. You can see all kinds of uh, info, everything from a sketch to an image. See how, we, how it used to look. And uh, you can get a lot of information. So if you find this as a vacant house, um, which would be great. I would love to buy a house like this, um, exactly like this. Uh, you can go to the detail, see who owns it. You can see where they live, and you can um, go from there and try to try to send them uh, a mail, something in the mail or something like that. All right, let's go back to Google and do one more area for you. Just to make sure you see that this does work very similar in all of the areas. Let's say you want to go to Chesterfield um, Online Tax Records in Chesterfield uh, County outside of Richmond where I live again. And if you go to County of Chesterfield Real Estate Assessments, we're right here. You get this website. Click on Search Property Assessments is fine. And then what you got is the same kind of thing. Let's say the address is 4903 B-E-U-L-A-H Beulah Road. And try that. <clears throat> now let's try that again. Um, let me go back. Let's just type in Beulah. I forgot to put the street type. Let's try this. Road. Okay, so here's a bunch of houses on Beulah Road. Let's, uh, let's say that you are looking for this one, 3801 Beulah Road, right there. That's a vacant house you want to track some information on. All you do is click on the link, see all these, and uh, it'll pull up all the info on this house, okay? <clears throat> you can see this house is actually owned by a church. Let me go back. I don't want to show you a house owned by a church. Let's pick another one. Let's see here. Let's say, let's pick this one, 3824 Beulah Road. All right, so this house is owned, this is a good example. This house is owned by a guy named Wayne Allen Hill and his, probably his wife, Lori. See that right there? And uh, what's interesting about this house is he doesn't live at that house. He lives in a town called Chester, Virginia. And his uh, mailing address is a P.O. box. So he probably does not live here, which means it's a great lead for us to try to buy his house if he wants to sell it. So if you had found this house on Beulah Road and you went into the tax records, you'll see exactly where he lives. And you'll be able to uh, send him something in the mail offering to buy his house. You can also see he bought it in 2012. He paid $95,000. So you get tons and tons of information here in these tax records. And it's a great way to um, track people down, okay? Now the other thing is, once you've got somebody's name <clears throat> like this, say uh, Wayne Allen Hill, like this, um, you could go back to Google and you can sometimes uh, pretty easily find, um, find a phone number or, or some other information about them by typing in the name and then the area that they live in, okay, like this. And he may come up right here on whitepages.com. So whitepages.com <clears throat> works really good. Um, you may or may not be able to come up with, uh, with, it, with his phone number right here. But you can use online searches like White Pages and Google. And really, there's his phone number, okay? So that's a good one. It's a good example. So now um, we, we know who owns the house on Bueller Road. We know the name, we know their, their mailing address, and I know their phone number. 
and I can easily just call them up and talk to them about buying their house. Again, getting good at using the online tax records, whether it's, uh, again, in um, Richmond, Virginia, like this one was, or whether you're in L.A. or in New Orleans or wherever you're at, pulling up the current owner's name, where they live, and then being able to go to a service like whitepages.com and easily find their phone number allows you to connect yourself with someone who may be motivated to sell their house to somebody like us uh, being real estate investors. Again, I'm Jim Ingersoll. I hope uh, you can watch this a couple times if you need to. Take the time to go into your uh, Google, um, find your local area online tax records, do some random searches, get good at it, track down who owns the house, where they currently live, and if you're able to, track them down in a service like whitepages.com, find their phone number, and that's a great um, way to shortcut finding houses to buy.